Good morning. It's Friday. Faith on Friday. This will probably be kind of my faith on Friday. There might be something extra, but I love my group. I love my team, Major Maniacs. <laughs> uh, we're on a mission, right? Um, responding to hurt. As the one who called you who is holy, you also to be holy in all your conduct. First Peter 1 Peter 1.15. So we have two responses. We have the worldly response which I don't have to go over. We know what that is. It's not the best, okay? And then we have the Christian response. Um, you know, I've taught you, many of you, um, E plus R equals O, event plus response equals outcome. Well, you know, it's the preparation of the information. So it's the presentation of the information. Well, the presentation of the information comes from your preparation of that information, preparing your heart. So Paul says this, and it's an ouch moment, that Christians um, don't respond, you know, don't respond in the worldly way. He says, be holy in all conduct, in all conduct. What does holy mean? Holy means be distinct, set apart. Meaning that, wow, what, what the heck is that kind of response? That's not the normal, typical, because we're not normal, we're not typical, right? Um, separate, uh, out of the ordinary, unusual. So when hurts come, and they will, it's a it's a matter of life, it's a it's a fact of life. Sorry, a Christian response is with love, grace, humility, forgiveness, and the way we reflect the nature of Jesus. In this way, we're different. Bottom line, <clears throat> I love it. The bottom line is believers in Christ have been commanded to live lives holy of holiness, even when people hurt us. Is this your response? Different? Is your response different? Ah, I'll admit, sometimes my response is godly, sometimes it's not. But it doesn't defeat me and, and make me realize or beat myself up. I realize that I'm not walking in the light. I'm not preparing myself. You know, I didn't armor up. Okay, so we kind of, sometimes, me, number one, number one here. Well, well you know what, if they didn't do that, I, I'm like, if if and butts are candy and nuts, <laughs> every day be a Merry Christmas. We are commanded to stand, if we stand firm on God's promises and we absorb, marinate, remember I love the word marinate, marinate God's word and have start off like that. I mean, I, I believe in still reading at night, but you got to start out with that. Satan's going to, as soon as you hit the floor, before I even hit the floor now, I go, praise God, thank you for this day. Because as, as, as soon as I even open my eyes, Satan's going to attack me. All right? So, responding to hurt. How are you responding? Prepare better, respond better, okay? And I want you to know these four things. Do a little R&R, &R, okay? We're all in the R's today. And my buddy, George, hi, George. <laughs> um, he's my mentor. And uh, he said, a little R&R. And, &R. We, and here, here they are. Rejoice on the redemption. Think of the redemption and rejoice, Okay. Also, <clears throat> excuse me, then reflect on the reality of, wow, I'm redeemed, but the reality is I still haven't arrived and I never will until I see Jesus. And then rest on the resurrection. All right. So rejoice. Hey, I'm saved. Then reflect back on my reality. But remember, your reality is if you, if you, if you move forward with Christ, your reality does not become your fatality. All right, it's a little rhyming. The, re the reality of your life doesn't come to fatality. You're not finished yet. So move on. And your past doesn't define you. So realize your reality. And if you look back, if you've been a Christian a while, you can see that you've grown. You don't realize it because it's been a process over time. So don't give up hope, okay? So little R&R, &R, reflect, rest, and rejoice in God. And don't forget to marinate, all right? Armor up, to stand up, to speak up. Why? Because we're soldiers in the greatest army of ever, Jesus Christ. And guess what? He conquers everything. We're on the winning side. So smile today, all right? God bless.